Hey y'all. So today we're going to do a something a little bit different. I absolutely am in love with junk journaling and I've never done a video on it before. And I thought this would actually be a perfect fit for what I do on this channel. So I'm just going to show you kind of the, how I go about doing junk journaling. There are many, many different ways, lots of different people out there that do this. And this is just one of the ways that I do it. So if you are a book lover, that last bit that you just saw probably killed you. And I do apologize, but I look at it as I'm giving this book a new life. So again, keep your hate comments to yourself. <laughs> it was an older book. I'm saving it. Okay. End of story. Um, I'm showing you now just all the different types of papers that I'm going to be using in this journal. The first full size sheets, those are actually coffee stained uh, just computer paper that I had. I mean, you can do all kinds of um, crafty little things to to age your paper. And I think my favorite is coffee staining. You can also do tea staining, uh, but coffee seems to work for me. So if you guys have never done that before, I can probably try to throw together a quick little video on how to do coffee staining if you're interested. But it's very, very simple and I didn't want to put it in this video. So Anyway, again, I'm just showing you all the different little uh, papers. A lot of these things here, like those little old book papers and the little stickers, I got them on Amazon. So I will make sure to update my Amazon list so that if there is anything on here that you are interested in, you can definitely go there and find them. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm basically dividing up this book. Um, I want to still use a lot of the old pages from this book because I love the texture. I love how the edges are. So we're not going to waste any part of this book. We are going to use it. And I'm going to begin making my own signatures. Now the signatures are going to be the different pieces of the junk journal that we're going to put together. Um, so this is my first signature that I'm working on here. What I'm doing is just kind of eyeballing the different pages kind of figuring out how I want this to flow. I'm going to use some of this um, very vintage, it's kind of like a thick watercolor um, type paper and I just glued that down there. Now I will say this, that spray glue, y'all don't use that. I could not find my glue sticks to save my life this day. So typically I would probably just use my glue stick. That spray glue sucks <laughs> and I don't like using it. So just kind of a forewarning there. Don't, don't use that. It, no. But in any case, it was what I had at the time and I was very anxious to work on this. So I did what I had to do. Um, basically, I'm just taking a lot of different um, pieces of like, say my uh, coffee stained paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to stick it in there. Um, I used copy paper as well as I believe notebook paper. You can pretty much do that to any type of paper if you want to give it that vintage aged look. Um, those were just the two you know, types of paper I had on hand. Um, I'm using the envelopes that came with that watercolor, vintage, thick cotton type paper stuff that you've seen up there. I'm sorry, I can't think of what it was actually called <laughs> when I ordered it, but I will make sure to add it to the link. I love it. It's very unique, old, vintage, thick. You can write on it. It's, it's awesome. Now I'm taking... Some of these um, vintage pages, as you saw me open at the beginning of the video, um, they do come in two colors. They have it already like a vintage tea stained uh, style, and then they have like a lighter version. All I'm doing here is you saw me kind of wet the edges of this, and then I'm just kind of tearing it up to, you know, rough it up, make it look a little bit aged. I'm sure there are many different ways to do this. This was just the way that I chose to do it at this point in time, uh, and it works out just fine. So again, you're just going to see me kind of going through a few pages, maybe tearing some things out that I don't feel, you know, fit. And again, because this is an old book, you know, you get to kind of play off of maybe something that's in, you know, the pages, like the title of a chapter or, you know, something that's actually written there. And I actually kind of do that with this particular book. Um, because, you know, journaling for me, I always felt like was, that very private, intimate time that you had, honestly, with yourself, but with your thoughts, you know, your feelings. And, you know, there's something romantic, I think, about that. So again, <laughs> with the, 
you guys know what the next quote unquote holiday season is, is going to be Valentine's. I figured this would work perfect in having something that was still romantic, but not in your face, hearts and cupids and, you know, Valentine's mumbo jumbo. So not anything against it, <laughs> but if you guys know me by now, yeah, anyway, so what I'm doing at this point is I'm going to sew up my signature. So I am actually taking just a very thick, now this I believe is like a, um, uh, it's a thicker needle. I want to say it's like for using for jeans and, um, you know, thicker materials, obviously. So it's a very strong, thick, big needle. Um, I could not find any, um, of the thicker thread that I have. I, I, I don't know what I did with it. I've, I've been in the process of rearranging my office and everything. So this was just a doubled up piece of just like regular sewing thread, which works out fine. Um, but you may want to use something thicker, like for, um, what would it be like cross stitching, you know, that just, or yarn maybe, I mean, there's different things you can try. I just used thread. And all I did, as you can see here, is just did like a basic wraparound stitch all the way down the spine of this signature. And then I just tied it off. Um, it definitely gives it more of a book type feel. Uh, and it keeps all of your, your work together. It didn't, it is a little bit of a process. You can kind of see how I have to kind of push it down, um, to get it through because you're pushing it through all these layers of paper, but the end piece is what you're looking for. It's now more of a book. It's going to flip like a book. It, yes, I love how that ends up working out. So again, all it is, is just stitching up the end of your signature. Now, this is a picture that actually came in the package for those little postage stamp type vellum stickers. I thought this woman was beautiful. I wanted to definitely use that piece as well. So you saw me kind of rough it up on the edges. And now all I'm doing is taking some um, Tim Holtz dye, um, like stamping, not dye, ink, excuse me. Uh, ink and I'm just going to kind of you know dirty up the edges it's basically like if I was using antiquing wax on something you know project to dirty it up I'm just going to use the the ink and it works out beautifully um, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and basically I'm just gluing her down on the front cover of my first signature and I just I loved how she looked she just I don't know she stuck out to me and I think that is one of the fun things about doing junk journaling. There is no rhyme or reason to it. It does not need to look perfect. It is quite messy. It is going to kind of be like a, you know, just thrown together version of you, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Things that you like, pieces that stick out to you, you know, pictures or words or, you know, quotes or just textures, anything at all you basically can throw together in this journal and it doesn't need to look pristine and perfect because that's not what we are. We are not pristine, perfect people, you guys like, and I'll speak that on my own, you know, for my own self. I know that about me, which is why you guys hear me preach about it all the time that I don't worry if things look perfect in my projects. I just don't because that's not how we are. So in any case, enough of that. <laughs> you just kind of see me here, like I said, throwing things together, pieces that, you know, stick out to me, um, using those beautiful vellum like stickers. I mean, these are gorgeous, you guys. I really hope you take a look at these um, in Amazon because I was really pleasantly surprised when I received them, how, how nice they are. So, Definitely a great thing to use for junk journaling or even scrapbooking or whatever you may be into, but I I love how they turn out in this book. Um, so again, this is something that you can journal, you know, if you are, if you're normally a journal journaler, ugh, I almost couldn't say the word, normally a journaler, there's different you know, ways that you can do it. you may journal every day, you may journal whenever you, you know, feel like it. And there's all types of, of ways to journal. Like you see me here just taking some paint and just painting up this page. And you might be going, what the heck are you doing? 
This is also considered like mixed media. So, I mean, it is mixed media. You're going to mash together all these different types of, you know, artistic things to just get the result that you want. And for me, I wanted this page to basically be all pinked out, <laughs> all painted up, except for that part there that says passion. And there's a little um, kind of excerpt from that book. Now, if shabby chic or this vintage look, you know, isn't your thing now, and I've said this before too, if you, if you guys are watching me normally, you know, this is kind of what I love to do, like the older stuff, vintage stuff. So I think it might be your thing too, if you guys watch me, <laughs> but if you're new here and Hey, if you are welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I do hope that you stick around. I hope you enjoy the content and hit that like and subscribe button, of course. Um, but for all of my uh, good nerdy friends that continue to come each week or whenever a new video comes out for me, which has been, you know, not as regular as I would like, I definitely appreciate you guys. And of course, you know that this is my style. This is stuff that I love. Um, but you could definitely play this up to any type of style. If you wanted to be more colorful, um, maybe more of an artistic side, like a mixed media artistic, uh, style journal, you could definitely do that. It is whatever floats your boat, basically whatever you like. Um, and that's what I love about junk journaling because it is your own unique take on whatever you want to look at, whatever you, whatever you see that just brings you joy, basically. Okay, so at this point, I decided, you know what, I'm going to throw some flower petals in here. And those were some uh, flower petals that came off some flowers that I still have in my office from uh, my anniversary and from my husband, of course. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to put those on there. And I just Mod Podge those in there, you know. Um, I'm taking some fabric, some lace here, and I'm just going to put a little, kind of make a little pocket on the front of this cover. Um, at this point, yes, I do whip out the hot glue because you know, your girl is always got to have her hot glue gun. <laughs> um, and I'm just making this little simple pocket there. And then what I plan to do, uh, is just take a little piece of Inferma here. And this is, um, again, from Tim Holtz. I have so much of his, you know, little, um, paper Infermas and, 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 you know, just, tools and, and even these scissors, I think are his. <laughs> um, but I became quite obsessed with them. I think when the pandemic first hit and we were working from home, that was probably my favorite crafting thing to do was just use his products and create just crazy cool looking vintage things. So I dusted these things off, brought them back out and I want to bring them to life again. So just a basic little card here, which is so cool. Just a very vintage looking uh, tag. And I just, again, took some ink, dirtied it up and stuck it in the pocket. Um, now I'm just going to kind of flip through here and show you uh, kind of where we're at at this point. Journaling for me is, you know, you can just do it when it strikes you, you know, when you feel like you want to go and write something down and you guys with these junk journals, yes, they're, they're quirky. They're going to have like a lot of like little things in it. Like just your basic run of the mill journal does not. Um, but they're still usable. They're still functional. So you can still go in and write your thoughts or write down, you know, if you're, you came up with a poem or a song or whatever it is, you can still use it as a functioning journal. I think a lot of people don't really associate junk journaling with a journal that you can actually use on a daily basis, but you really can. Um, that's why you're going to see, I'm going to leave a lot of these pages completely blank because I can come back to them and actually do things with them. So like in this case right here, I do have that envelope glued into one of the pages. And then I'm just going to take this like unique looking old postcard I'm going to dirty it up a little bit. I'm going to stick that in there because for me, it's like, it'll be something fun that I can go back to later and just, you know, pull out and look at. And that's what I love about this. It's just going to definitely keep your attention when you're looking at it. And if this is something you want to make for somebody else and share memories with that person, 
put your own pictures in there. You can take your own Polaroids or old photos and whatever and stick them in there and do however, take whatever little uh, mementos mean something to you, like a movie ticket or plane ticket or whatever. And you can almost make it like a scrapbook, but it's still a journal. It's still a junk journal, but you can make it for somebody else or you again, do it for yourself. So for me, I am going to make this more of a romantic type, maybe even like a love letter to myself, um, which I think we all need to have something like that for, you know, ourselves. We have to love ourselves. So um, I'm definitely doing that with this book. And I'm putting in one of my favorite lines from one of my favorite movies, which is the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. And of course, that was from Moulin Rouge. But it is a quote that I absolutely adore. So uh, I'm just going to dirty that up. I used a Sharpie. Now, if you just use a regular marker and then try to wet it, it would maybe help run the words a little bit. And I think it would have made it look even more unique. I was trying to do that here, obviously, with my little um, my little wet cloth. And it was not working because Sharpie was not moving. <laughs> so, um, but as you see here, I'm just, again taking my little dabber and using my, um, uh, my ink and I'm just giving everything in a, an aged look. So again, this is just the first signature. I would love to hear what you guys think, you know, what your ideas and maybe if you do junk journaling, what you guys like to do. Um, but this is just my first signature. I am going to do a part two to this video, uh, with adding, uh, another signature. I don't know how many, I think there may be room for at least three or four in my book cover. So we'll definitely have to check that out, but that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I love y'all stay safe. We'll see you again.